Hello, this is James from Jimmerish FM, and I'm just putting together a really simple uh, short tutorial about how to prepare your uh, podcast recording to publish to the internet. So what we just have here to start off with is we've got um, this file, MP3 file that's come, I've downloaded from my um, MP3 uh, two-track recorder. So it's a, a stereo track with each track has a, records a separate microphone. And uh, now to get it ready for the internet, you need a couple of programs. You're going to need Audacity and Levelator. Um, and I are using these options here because they're both free and they're for available for Windows and um, Mac. I mean, there's plenty of other options out there, but I'm just doing this demo for the lowest common denominator. Um, basically, these two free options. So uh, to get Audacity, you just got to go Google Audacity Download. Um, go to the downloads page and then you can choose from uh, Audacity for Windows, Mac or Linux and choose your option. Now one more thing for edit with Audacity for editing mp3 files uh, I think by default it doesn't include mp3 editing so you've got to get that separately so I will just Google Audacity mp3 and um, uh, this option usually comes up first. How do I download and install the lame MP3 encoder? And this gives you instructions for Windows and Mac um, on how to download the uh, MP3 component that will help you edit MP3 files in Audacity um, and just follow the packet uh, instructions and install the package that you're given. And there you go. Um, finally, uh, for mixing, uh, fast automatic mixing, you want to get a level later. It's a free tool. Um, just Google the Levelator download and you want to go to the Levelator from the Conversations Network, this link just here. And it'll be a page and it'll give you the options to allow download for Windows and OS 10. It's a free little utility and I'll show you how to use that in a second. Okay, so now we're ready to go. You've got your MP3 package installed, Audacity installed and Levelator installed. Um, let's open this MP3 file in Audacity. And uh, it'll open up and it will import the mp3 file and get it ready for editing um, and this will take a moment okay here we go we've got our uh, mp3 imported uh, mp3 tracks imported into uh, audacity as you can see there's two tracks it's a stereo track left and right and uh, one microphone has been recorded on the left track one microphone is recorded on the right track so what you'll notice is if you uh, uh, start playing here you'll uh, play both tracks and the microphone on the left will come out your left ear, the microphone on the second track will come out your right ear uh, and it's going to sound a bit weird and we'll fix that at the moment but right now it's the best opportunity to do any editing um, if you want to um, raise some stuff uh, you know at the start where you're just setting up you can select it all and just press delete and uh, so maybe some at the end just select a section and delete um, and that's quick and simple. Uh, when you are editing stuff inside the podcast, it, you should try and do it a little bit more um, carefully. Uh, so find a selection that you want to remove. And uh, what you want to do there is uh, edit, go to the edit menu. And then once you've got the selection now, go to this. Uh, either press the letter Z or go to find zero crossings and it will find the best place to cut the audio so you don't get too many clips. And then you can either uh, just delete, like press the delete key or remove audio delete. Um, or if you want to cut and paste, you can use cut and then paste it somewhere else. But yeah, uh, we can delete that section. Um, so once you've got the actual content you want exactly as you want it, um, then you want to uh, start getting ready to... Uh, prepare the mono file. Now that the reason we've recorded each microphone in each track is so that um, you can edit each microphone individually. Um, and yeah, if you see here, someone drops um, something on the microphone and makes a huge bang. Um, and uh, so we want to uh, get rid of that bang uh, without interrupting the person who's speaking on this microphone. Um, so to get that ready, because if you see, if you try and select now, it'll select both tracks. Um, so to start uh, to hear what it sounds like in mono with just one track coming out both ears, uh, both tracks coming out both ears, 
um, and making it sound like a normal podcast, uh, we want to click this selection, this little down arrow over here and go down to split stereo to mono. And basically that will do is now we can in, uh, edit tracks, the tracks individually. And when we play back, um, both microphones come out both ears and it sounds like a normal podcast. So what we want to do is select this little section here uh, that where someone bumped the track and then we can go to the effects menu and just go just do a quick and dirty auto duck um, and just click OK I'm not going to get into the details of that um, and that will just lower the volume of where that that person dropped uh, something on the microphone and it'll do that now as it finishes you'll notice that this waveform where we've selected will change and it'll remove some details. Okay, see? Now you can see the waveform that's disappeared, that, that little thing there, and that reduces that bang. Okay, now that you've decided that each uh, microphone's track has been added individually to get rid of anything uh, you want, you can take it back to a stereo tr track by clicking over here and then go make stereo track, and it'll join these two together again. Uh, now just select, make sure it's selected, and then you can go, we want to mix it down to mono, so they're going to merge them together. So we go, make sure it's selected, then we go up to tracks, um, stereo track to mono, and uh, it'll uh, merge those two tracks together now that everything is edited. Now, as you can see, we've got just one track. Everything's merged together. Um, if you want to, you can uh, paste in some... Uh, intro and outro music um, we want but that's not in the scope of this uh, particular tutorial uh, this is just about simple stuff where you've just got a recording you've done everything live that you need to do so now it's ready to be sent to level later so uh, now this is the important thing I just want you to check that check the the project rate down here in Hertz and should be uh, a minimum of 44 kilohertz and you don't really need um, higher than that for a podcast. Um, you know, there's there's there are the higher options like up to 96, um, you know, for music and stuff. But for podcast, 44, 100 is fine. So make sure that's right. Now we want to export it to Level Editor. So let's go File, Export, and uh, Level Editor works with WAV files. So we want to make sure you just use the default WAV, um, WAV Microsoft, um, then uh, save it to whatever location your project file is and go save and this will now export it as a WAV file. Um, it has the option of putting in metadata, ignore that, you can do that later after we've done a little later. So just leave it and go just OK and uh, it'll start exporting. Right, so what you'll have is you'll have two files here. You've got the mp3 and the .wav file and that .wav file is a file we've just edited and it's ready to go. So the next step is to put it into Levelator. Levelator is a little um, app that will just automatically level all the audios right to the best level for you uh, in the best possible way it can uh, in an automatic fashion and uh, unless you're like an audio engineer this is probably as best as you're going to get to getting your levels just right um, for a great podcast. So um, yeah, if you're not an audio engineer, I pretty much, um, it's a law to, at a minimum, use level editor to get your levels up so it's not too quiet, not too soft, and, or, you know, things don't blow people's ears out. Um, so just get the file you want and you can just um, drag it onto a level editor uh, like that. And uh, uh, level editor doesn't actually work while I'm running the video demo, so um, you just have to get the idea that uh, it'll open up level editor like that and when it's finished um, it'll uh, close down and uh, you'll be basically left with a third file now and this file will be the same name as file uh, 0143 um, whatever your file's called and then but it will say dot output dot wav at the end and now this is your new file to work with so we're going to reopen this up in audacity uh, this wav file um, and since it's a WAV file, it's going to ask you uh, whether you want to work from this file, use a, a reference file, whatever. Um, basically, what I would do is go read the files directly from the original faster and click Don't Warn again and click OK. And uh, it's going to import this file into Audacity again. 
and you'll notice that it is one single mono track again but you'll see everything all the levels are nice and even across nice even level across the uh, file now while you've got it at this stage you can take the opportunity to do a little uh, fade in so you can select the start of the track and go up to effect and go fade in and it'll do a gentle fade in and uh, you can you will listen to that back and make sure you've put the fade in the right place so you're not uh, getting rid of important content and you can do the same at the end select the end and then you've got effect and go fade out now you've got your track like this it's pretty much ready to be exported as an mp3 so again check that the project rate is 44 kilohertz and uh, go up to file export now you want to change you don't want to save as web so you want to change it to mp3 um, and there's other files you can use file formats uh, podcast you use you can use uh, AAC which is Dolby's uh, format uh, you can use uh, org as well which is an open source format but I wouldn't use that because you can not all players can play it um, rather than just about every um, uh, podcast player we use can play mp3 and AAC but uh, for this sake this example we're going to use mp3 the classic format and we'll click options we're going to make sure that we're exporting in the right way now it says joint stereo story it doesn't matter since there's a mono track um, you just leave that as it is um, it should export as a mono and you want to select 64 kilobytes a second. 64 kilobytes a second is a sweet spot for a podcast and, and it's perfect for mono files because um, you basically want 64 kilobytes per track. So we're just doing one track, so just choose 64. Um, I prefer constant bit rate. Um, now press OK. Uh, now you want to just change the out, dot output to MP3 uh, now and you'll probably want to rename the file to, you know, episode... 10 or whatever it is dot mp3 and click save and this time it'll come up and it'll ask for the meter tags and so you can't now this is a good attribute if you want to put this stuff in um so you can put the uh the name of your podcast and artist name the episode number in your track title uh and album title you can you know, put your website or do whatever you want. And, uh, but I'm just not going to do that at the moment and click OK. Now, if you haven't downloaded the uh, MP3 extension for exporting MP3s, you'll need to make sure you've, uh, it'll come up with this warning and it'll make sure to take you to the download page. So do that. Now, once you've made sure you've got your MP3 plugins uh, sorted so that Audacity can export MP3 files, um, you can go ahead and export. And it'll take a while to export it, but hopefully it's exporting 64 kilobits per second and 44 kilohertz. Okay, and when it's done, you can close Audacity. Uh, you can save this thing if you want. Or okay, okay I'm just a demo, so I'm going to say no. And uh, we should now have our four file, which is episode 10.mb3, and that's the file that you can take with you and upload to the internet on whatever hosting provider you use for your podcasts and it should be ready to go for a great quality uh, podcast recording.